I am Phoenix City Councilwoman Kate Gallego, and today the community is celebrating the grand opening of the dog park at Esteban Dog Park and brand new basketball courts. This has been a long time coming. The community has really been asking for a great asset like this, and we are so glad to celebrate this milestone. I am here today with Julie and Nacho, and they are among the first people to, and dogs to visit. <laughs> Estevan Dog Park. So Julie, thank you for joining us here today. Thank you so much. We're very excited to be here. As you can tell, he's very happy. <laughs> Excellent. As much as you can tell, what does Nacho think of the dog park? Uh, I think he thinks it's great. He's already been off the leash and running around and he really appreciates the fact that it's separated from big dogs and small dogs. So he's, he feels safe, so that's good. It's really exciting and I've heard uh, good reviews that the small dog park is still large enough for dogs to be able to run. It's one of our largest small dog parks in addition to a separate dog, for, dog park for larger dogs. Uh, why are you excited about dog parks? Well, it's a, it's a safe environment. Um, he, we love to let him outside, but you know, being a small dog, you just never know cars and people and other big dogs. So anything that's fenced in, that's safe, that's clean. Um, and we know that other people that come here are you know, family oriented, dog oriented, and we're not worried about him you know, being injured or, or hurt. So we're very excited and, and he loves it. He loves to run. And so I don't have to worry about you know, where is he going or what's going on. So. Excellent. So really this nice. is our first District 8 dog park south of the river and we are very excited to have a nice park with uh, water fountains and other amenities. Do you think it'll be a good chance to meet neighbors in the community? Yeah, absolutely. We've already met probably half a dozen people today, so it's great. And he's, he's socialized with a lot of dogs too, so that's good. Excellent. I've heard some of our other Phoenix dog parks have uh, produced even dating couples, new friendships, people meeting their, their neighbors. So we're hopeful that uh, we'll have the same thing in Esteban Park. Oh, I hope so. I think it'll be great. Wonderful. Well, thank you for marking us the, the celebration with us. Bye, Don. We are celebrating the new basketball court at Esteban Park, and I am here with one of our community leaders, Wyatt Moore. Tell us about your involvement with the community. Yes, uh, I'm involved with the community with the Broadway Heritage Neighborhood Association, which is between 24th Street and 32nd Street, between Rosier Road and Elwood. So I've been very uh, instrumental in making sure that I come down here to the park and participate, you know, and, and enjoy it. I have a son who's 12 years old, and so, you know, he comes down here, we down practice, because he's in the basketball league. And I also bring my daughter down here sometimes, you know, we exercise along the park, so this, this basketball court was really, really big. Yeah. Well, it was one of the first things that you talked about with my office as soon as I got elected. So why does youth basketball matter to you? Well, because the youth is our future. Uh, you know, like I said, I have two 12-year-olds, and so just having them interested in something is, is a you know, benefit to the community, as well as, you know, it's health conscious too, so. Absolutely, it's a, we have a major Fit Phoenix initiative where we're trying to get people of all ages involved in exercise, and I'm predicting this basketball court will be uh, one of our most uh, best used. Well, I hope so, you know, because I'm planning on using it, because like, so I'm really close to the neighborhood, so I, it become interesting to come down here. I don't play basketball like I used to, uh -huh. But you know, just work with my son and see the people he get involved with, you know, it'd be interesting to do. And like I said, me and my daughter can really enjoy this whole park. Mm -hmm. I mean, thanks to the dog park right now, it'd be interesting to see how many people come to the dog park. And then the growth, the potential growth they're going to have, you know. Uh, our community have been asking for other initiatives in the area, so, you know, a closed mouth don't get fed, so I'm going to keep asking. So. Excellent. Well, we look forward to continuing to work with you, and we're very excited that the community has a great meeting place where people can get to know their neighbors and strengthen our community. I think this will help us have a safer, healthier community, so thank you for your leadership and making this happen. Thank you, Kate. Appreciate you. Thank you.